Alright, for those of y'all niggas that don't know, I used to be, uh, I used to be classified as one of these niggas, unfortunately, I used to be a fucking 20v1 blind date YouTuber, yeah, that shit disappointed, my nigga. With that said, my nigga, let's get into this video, bro. 15 minutes, my, my nigga. My little sister- 15 minutes, and then after this, we can watch whatever y'all niggas wanna watch, bro. Got a BBL. Asking homeless people freaky questions. Little RT 20v1. This is actually getting out of hand. A few months ago, I dropped a video titled The Problem with Black YouTube, and in that video, I basically talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content and what they actually put out on the internet. <laughs> me, <laughs> Taisha, he, he talking about me, chat. <laughs> he, he, he talking about me, chat. <laughs> and the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most horniest content. Bro, line crazy. Interview and like 20 v one spamming YouTubers. And that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback. You know, some people said that I was spitting in that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of for speaking up about this issue and then some people thought that what i was saying was kind of a, a, a little uncle ruckus here. some people were even saying that i wasn't the best spokesperson for this because i speak proper and i sound white bro i hate when niggas say that shit i'm like you sound white how the fuck you want me to sound there nigga I, i'm pretty sure last time i checked i'm black i don't know y'all tell me i guess i gotta sound black as well i don't know how a black person is supposed to sound but y'all tell me in the comment section below overall there was a lot of mixed feedback with that video and in today's video i actually wanted to return to that topic of black youtube once again because i've been seeing some things and i'm not gonna lie it's low-key getting insane starting with these 20 v1s now these 20 v1s 20 v1 like six, seven months ago and they're still pretty popular till today if you're unfamiliar with the 20 v1 i mean basically it's one person versus 20 other people and they just speed date each person each round that's pretty much i'm not gonna lie nigga if you still watching them type of videos nigga like come on these bitches been getting played out for like the past like eight months my nigga get this shit a rest bro now like i said these 20 v ones are still popular till this day and nothing's really changed with these except for instead of using adults they are now using children as you guys saw in the intro what yes, the fuck there a creator out here who created a 20 v1 with little rt the 10 year old rapper if that is nigga what the hell this a real video how much views this shit get this shit got 1.7 views nigga are you fucking serious who the fuck is watching this them With niggas be doing RT, strange shit the 10 year old rapper if that is not insane i don't know what is i genuinely don't instead of using lil rt as a side character like that one guy did he's now upgraded to a main character and they what got this the man speed children but yeah that's like the only changes they've made with these 20 v ones other than that everything else is pretty much the same still scamming their fans with the cash app link in the description hey i swear to god that cash app shit used to piss me off every time them niggas got the same cash app glitch and that bitch would be two minutes long that shit don't work put it in your link nigga said put it in your link nigga you not gonna get no bread you not gonna get no money on what you mean you want me to scam y'all niggas make 750 dollars <laughs> and we already know how that goes cash app is not giving you 750 dollars for free that just doesn't make sense that's a terrible business move they're still using the exact same intros as one another and they're also still using the exact same profile pictures as one another them like niggas share the same editors creativity when it comes to these 20 v1 tubers now one specific 20 v1 that i really want to talk about right now because i th i feel like this is the elephant in the room is this little rt 20 v1 a few bro, weeks ago i was fuck, scrolling bro. on twitter just getting in my daily scroll and i see this poster 20 women versus Lil rt it's in atlanta and i also saw that reddit logo in the bottom they right gotta now. hire me for real to... bro stop bro horex bro you know your thumbnails gonna be looking like bro black scribbles bro i can say it, what I was a troll <laughs> But then about a week ago, I was scrolling through Twitter again, and I seen a clip from this 20v1, and when I tell My you- My thumbnails I bang. Hey, hey. What's your name? Tayden. What's your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> Okay. I got views right, on my man. Minecraft video. This was made vid. by a YouTuber by the name of Mike Adela. But it's how is your thumbnail? Variant of like No Love Mar, Ryan with the sauce, all those cornball 20v1 tubers. A majority of his content just revolve around 20v1s. Like if we look at his last 12 videos, you can see that he did nothing else but 20v1s. And before the 20v1s, this man was fuck? basically just doing the shit was fire. Okay, we gonna see after this video, bro. On freaky blind dates, like he was basically just doing this cornball content, pretty much. And I guess 20v1s got super 
super boring so we just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix you may be thinking like oh cam you might be overreacting you know maybe this 20v1 isn't that bad no it's exactly nah, nigga, what you nah, think nigga, this nah, is nigga, a this nigga not overreacting nigga this is insane my nigga this is some weird ass shit hey, like what the fuck a children's risen competition bro, this, this is not is strange, the tiktok bro. riz party this is the youtube kids riz party none of these did he just say the tiktok was that in a competition this is not the tiktok never mind never mind i thought that was something else never mind TikTok riz party this is the what YouTube the fuck kids is the riz tiktok party. riz these party kids are over the age of 13 years old what was going through this man's head when he was thinking of this video man 20 v ones are getting dead man let's add some children to the mix like bro what the heck what's crazy is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like lil rt was there to find friends when we know the true intentions of this like i said this is a children's dating show this freaky ass cornball got a room full of kids right, to nigga. try and riz up Lil all right RT. my nigga that... all right my nigga as, as as more as the more and more he explaining this shit the more and more this shit getting weirder this shit getting stranger i want to know what adults allowed their kids to get on this video i genuinely want to know like this is actually insane oh what the fuck oh oh like, bro, what like the fuck? Why are we putting kids on dating shows? That is weird. Especially 20v1s. I find it so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused and just exploited. Nah, they using the shit out this little nigga. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They they making this little nigga the method, bro. Niggas been saying this shit since he blew up. Where is this nigga parents? Where is that little nigga parents? Nigga said EDP got comped. <laughs> through the black community y'all need to stop using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child bruh why do we need videos of lil rt swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1 or even lil rt being on a 20v1 nobody needs this content what's crazy is at the end of this lil rt 20v1 this man has the audacity to say y'all let me know what y'all think let me know if y'all want to do another one or y'all just talk to me chat let me know Oh, nah, this nigga's gone. This nigga gone, gang. This nigga's gone. This nigga gone. The money got him. Man, I just held the latest dating show for children, man. If y'all want another one, make sure to tag your little cousin in the comment section. Tag little Timmy. Tag your little sister. Any kids, I want them all. Like, dog, read the room. Nobody wants another little RT 20v1 or another children's dating show. You know this video is bad when this man turned off the entire comment section. This man probably got tons of hate for nigga, this. So, nigga, so, nigga, nigga, so he knew the video was bad. He knew knew this shit was bad when he dropped that bitch oh yeah this nigga cook bro his fucking brain is fried macaroni nigga and if you thought that was bad well let me tell you that these 20v1s get even worse because there's actually this 20v1 with this rapper that goes by the name of finesse two time hey this nigga is a freaky ass nigga if you know at least just a tiny bit about this nigga this nigga is a fucking freak bro and it starts off as your average that is a freaky nigga gang YouTube. but then halfway through finesse two times son came in with them on the second round to basically just stick wasn't he on xxl was bro should have taken the engagement from the comments shit nigga i don't know nah, shit nigga that nigga don't give a fuck about the comments nigga he give a fuck about that money on by his father's side while he's talking to these women and the way that these women and finesse two times talk right in front of this child is actually weird it, it's it's genuinely disgusting so after you not do you stay hard or you get soft that junk get soft I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for about 40 minutes for that journey for round two. You might not take 40 minutes with me. Cap. I'm just trying to see what's the freakiest shit that bitch ever did to you. Man, one time, right? On God, it's a bitch from Atlanta, cause she married now. On God, I had a bitch with eating that bitch, right? Yeah. Man, that bitch got off that bitch, started sucking my toes, cuz. <laughs> Nigga got nut juice on his toes, bro. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this on and f me right though. Since you said when you got what out the you fuck? some skinny girls. Right. So what would you say? The only reason why I can't get skinny girls out my head no more, right? Cause cause what one time, right? My I was hitting a bitch from the front, right? And my my she just got the square in there with my head up. I feel so bad for this kid because you can literally My nigga at least take the little nigga out the frame. Damn! 
damn he's not trying to hear any of that no child is trying to hear this freaky ass conversation especially coming from one of his own parents this man's talking about how he be making girls squirt in front of his son so when i was young the only thing i knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet why is this man talking about how he be making women what squirt in front of his son fuck? that's insane if one of my parents were speaking freaky deaky right in front of me like this the only option i'd have is to drive off of a cliff at 300 miles per hour in gta that's his course. kid and if yeah. you thought that it's disgusting hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20v1s what about them actually doing these sexual acts there's literally a 20v1 with the rapper jp and mid 20 i remember this i remember this i remember this i remember this this nigga got his meat suck mid vid my nigga that shit was insane he won this man got that mw3 dome if you catch my drift basically he was just yapping it up with these girls and this girl was talking about how she's got that gawk gawk 3000 you know it goes crazy strag so you ever had you no know, gag reflex or no of course yeah i've had several strag oh, i can show you better i can tell you and jp basically said that he needed proof of that gawk gawk right so they go to the back and this man starts getting gawked off mid 20 v1 number one jp a freak disgusting. bro bro he did that shit twice bro it's another video of that shit happening i think that nigga did it on a fucking twitch stream he took a bitch to the back and that that bitch sucked that nigga meat bro that shit was that shit was insane and i feel bad for this woman's parents future kids and anybody that associates with with her and number two the fact that all these grown men are just standing around eavesdropping <laughs> listening to another man get his meat yo this shit up. looks bad bro <laughs> these dudes literally look like some cheerleaders this shit bro. is bad. outside the door like oh my gosh jp you're really getting your meat slurped off right now oh my gosh this is amazing and if you thought that, that 20 v1 was bad well it gets even worse because there was also this other 20 v1 where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants mouths to basically huh? show how freaky she was <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, 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 what the fuck is this frame I'm looking at, nigga? What the fuck am I looking at? Fridge protector? Nigga got the fade of death, and I don't even know. Nah, you can do it, you can do it. Your, my, nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. He liked it. He liked it. When I tell you, that clip almost, that clip almost made me some of you niggas need to get banned from the internet, my nigga. I swear to God. I almost, oh my, I had to stop myself right there. Seeing that clip, it's it's disgusting. These 20v1s need to stop. Like, when are we going to wrap these up? I feel like they've had their time, you know? 20v1s were cool at one point when the Sidemen was doing them, when Jubilee was doing them. But do we really got to continue to make R.I.P. to Jubilee is. Room warriors need to stop. This content is just bottom of the barrel. Can, can we think of something else? Oh, wait, we did think of something else. Pop the balloon. If you're unfamiliar with pop the balloon basically okay it's when pop the balloon first came out that shit was kind of funny but then niggas started dragging that shit too much and how it works is a bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand and each round a person comes out and if a person with the balloon likes you then they don't pop the balloon but if they don't like you then they pop the balloon and i'm seeing the of models of death my nigga good lord they explain why they popped it now i will say i did like pop the balloon because there are a lot of funny moments in there. It is, it like is some funny shit. Walks in it is some funny shit from just now. Sounds like the Fourth of July. Alright, so like, um, <laughs> ladies, how y'all feeling based on? <laughs> Wait, wait, the fuck? <laughs> like that is peak comedy. Or when that one dude who looked like a Ninja Turtle was just cooking all the women on there. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? Brianna, twenty six. My eyes oh, are shit. up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. <laughs> That was pretty Damn. funny, you know? There's some pretty funny moments with those. But now, I feel like the format is just becoming way too overused. Why does everything Niggas have OD to involve that shit, bro. balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing pop the balloon in Roblox. And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that they got the actual white room in Roblox as well. How the fuck you even set that up? Bro, my nigga, you can dead ass just do anything in Roblox now. Bro, I seen a Twitter clip yesterday of a nigga playing a Roblox game, some anime Roblox game. Bro, that nigga got hit with the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, my nigga. That nigga got hit with some shit you can't even do in a fucking Dragon Ball game, gang. Like, bro, this is getting out of hand, bro. These white rooms need to be put to an end, dog. Whoever has a hold of these white 
white rooms, they gotta start charging more. They gotta start charging like an arm and a leg rather than money. Because if I see one more video in a white room, I'm actually gonna flip. Especially these blind dates. I seen a dude doing blind dating based off baby pictures. Is that- yeah, okay, yeah, that's crazy. That not weird, bro. Especially coming from these freaky ass channels. That's even weirder. There are so many creative things you can do on YouTube. And you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can think of? That is insane. What's crazy is this freakiness on black YouTube is also transitioning over to Twitch. And if we know one thing about Twitch, they could not give a singular F about freakiness on their wait, platform. Hold on. Wait, Twitch wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on, buddy. What are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream twitch could he talking about you less. nigga nigga he, nigga he not talking about me nigga y'all don't see no bitches on here nigga unfortunately that being said a little bit ago deshae frost a large black content oh, creator shit. also former actor was oh, getting that shit. mw3 dome live on stream for content i remember this this was crazy he talking about you putting jelly beans up yet bro hey bro number one my nigga hey yo i don't do no shit with my butt or other people butt bro no sir this was insane oh my god she tracing my shit and what's crazy is this isn't even this man's first time because he's done it before ruby heat you who ruby heat like Miami Heat's Ruby Heat. Ruby. That's your first name? Like all together Ruby Heat? That's you my don't do name. shit with What's your butt? Really? Wanna... Question mark. I mean, I'm no, nigga. Do you? Freak boy? I know your real name. I like really want to get to know you. What's your real name? Bryson. Caitlin. Like the Caitlin. 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 Okay, Bryson and Caitlin type. All right, so look, if you was to describe yourself as a Halloween candy, what would you be? Oh, damn. Whole chat what notice. Is it with these dudes getting the dome midstream slash mid recording. Like, is the dome you that don't necessary? shit with your Where butt? You bro, you know what I meant, bro. Get it? Mid recording session or stream? Like, wh how necessary is the dome? That's all I want to know. <laughs> That sounds that sounds crazy. Wait, that sounds insane. Now, am I surprised that Deshay Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all, because this is the same man that made a video about his little sister getting a BBL, <laughs> and also the same guy who made a video basically. Okay, look. Even though that was that shit was crazy, I just gotta put this on out there for the record. His sister is bad as shit. He acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content, and I say acting because the video is obviously fake. Oh nah, she not That's letting you hit. <laughs> Bro, what? What the fuck? What the fuck am I looking at? What the fuck doing, is bro? going on, bro? I mean, what is going on? You told everybody to be upstairs, but we're recording. We're doing something, bro. You told me to come, mom. You told me to come over here. Bro, you told me to come chill. over here. You hey, nigga. What the fuck? Come here and get some food. And if you thought that the freakiness from the Shade Diddy stops right there, well, we're just getting started because this freakiness continues. You got this man falling on a woman's butt on stream. I seen this. Okay, I <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that shit was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shit you got this man biting stupid, on a woman's bro. butt. Ah, why are you taking so long? <laughs> oh wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, hold on, nigga. I ain't see this. They gonna clip this, but fuck, I'm good for. That bitch tastes good. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I've gone to this lady before. I don't know what y'all niggas want me to do, bro. This bitch on Batty Hub, my nigga. Bro is a way bigger gooner than me. <laughs> Bro, I don't goon no more though. I don't goon no more. I don't goon no more. I don't goon no more. I don't do that shit no more. Don't goon. Don't goon. You got this man recording a half naked woman oh, running shit. across the street. And then you also got this man forcefully humping a woman on Kai Sinat's stream. Why is this? Deshay Frost, you need to be neutered, bro. This man reminds me of one of those dogs. <laughs> Did that you just say that nigga need to be neutered? <laughs> 
weird. <laughs> Why is this man so horny, bro? This man is the freakiest frog in the pond. If a bag of flowers... I'm a married BBL, man. I'm convinced that Deshae Frost is crushing that in a heartbeat. No questions asked. All that being said, I find it insane how us as the black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10-year-olds on dating shows, getting dome on stream, and scamming our audiences with a fake cash app in every single video. Like, this is just odd behavior. I ain't gonna lie to fake cash app shit like my nigga. Stop. Stop all this shit, actually, nigga. Stop, like, please, my nigga. Stop all this shit. What the fuck? Like, y'all niggas is weird. Why the fuck is y'all putting kids with kids on the fucking, on the fucking dating bed? What the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? Stop this shit. Quarter of the day. Stop being a freaky ass, horny ass, weirdo ass nigga. Stop that shit. Stop being that freaky ass nigga, bro. Stop that shit, bro. And why does it have 43,000 likes? And also the sexualization of all this content. Why does it always have to be freaky? Or why does it always have to have these, like, weird twists? Like I said, there's many phenomenal black content creators out there, but the one- <laughs> <laughs> you talking about me? <laughs> you talking about me? You talk about me? Appreciate you. What you? What you what's your name, my nigga? Cameron. <laughs> Appreciate you, Cam. Appreciate you, my nigga. <laughs> Literally are just terrible. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys he think. He not. <laughs> below. All that being said, this is gonna wrap bro, up the video. You, if you guys made this far, I appreciate you. Make sure to join the Discord oh, link in the description. Make sure to follow my Twitch at Twitch Cameron W I K. If you guys oh, enjoyed this video, God. then I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video on Black YouTube. It'll be right up here on the screen. All that All being right. said, thank you guys for watching. It's Cameron, oh, and I'm out. Shit. All right. W V Cam. W V my nigga.